Welcome to this or that video series produced by UF IFAS Extension Pinellas County. This series helps citizens and visitors correctly identify commonly mistaken species of plants and animals. Pinellas County is host to several species of lizards, but the two most commonly confused are the green anole and the Cuban brown anole. So here are a few tips to help you tell them apart. As the name suggests, the green anole is green, while the Cuban brown anole is, well, brown. But the brown can vary from a very light brown to almost black. So you may be asking yourself, why make this video if they don't even look similar? Well, the green anole can become brown when it is too cold or it is alarmed. This can sometimes make it tricky to identify. Cuban brown anoles often have distinct patterns on their backs, while green anoles usually do not. These patterns come in the form of yellowish diamonds, stripes, or spots. Green anoles can occasionally have a stripe down their back. But if you're unsure, note the color of the skin under the chin. The green anole will always have a white or light skin color under their chin, no matter what color they are, while the brown anole will have a darker skin under the neck. Speaking of the neck, if you ever get to witness a male anole of either species displaying their dewlap or throat fan, look at its color. Green anoles have a pink dewlap, while the Cuban brown anole has a reddish orange dewlap with a distinct yellow outline. One other difference, though not as obvious, is the shape of their snout. The green anole has a longer, more pointed snout than the shorter, more rounded nose of the Cuban brown anoles. The Cuban brown anole is not native to Florida. It has become the most abundant anole in Florida, especially in urban areas. Unfortunately, the Cuban brown anole outcompetes the native green anole, pushing them higher up in the trees. Cuban brown anoles will also sometimes eat young green anoles. It's really a special treat to see a green anole in the wild, so celebrate it if you do. The next time you think you see a Cuban brown anole, take a closer look, as it may be a cold or alarmed green anole. Thank you for joining us, and stay tuned for more episodes from our This or That series from the UF IFAS Extension Pinellas County Office.